Hi, I'm Dr. Rajpal Singh. I'm the director of cardiology and a senior interventional cardiologist who practices at Fortis Hospital, Banagata Road. Today, I'd like to talk a few words about a test which might be in, in the public domain, a test known as CT calcium scoring. This is a test which is a non-invasive test which is recommended in those patients to assess whether they have any increased risk of coronary artery disease or have had coronary artery disease. This is a test that is a non-invasive test. It is done through a, a CT scan machine. We get you to come across, have, lie down under the CT scanner. Then we use the software associated with it to calculate the amount of calcium that is deposited in the walls of the arteries. Most people who have got no coronary artery disease or who do not have any significant risk factors will have a low calcium score. A high calcium score is usually indicative of previous inflammation in the arteries and thereby a higher likelihood of narrowing in the arteries supplying the heart. So anyone who has got a calcium score of less, less than 100, we would recommend that they have another functional test like for example a treadmill test and the information we get from the two of these will help us to risk stratify the patient. On the other hand, if you have a patient who has got a calcium score of about 200 or 300 and the patient has got symptoms, the CT uh, calcium score gives us a very good indicator of telling that this patient is at a high risk of developing coronary artery disease or has coronary artery disease and should be evaluated further. The evaluation may be either in the form of an invasive coronary angiogram or a CT coronary angiogram which would be decided by the consultant cardiologist or the clinician who is looking after you. So on the whole, this is a very useful test. It is used to risk stratify one one's coronary artery status and is not of any major risks at all and in fact is a no risk procedure and it is worthwhile having it done particularly those who got a family history of premature narrowing in the arteries or premature heart attacks particularly those who are young diabetics and who have got some non-specific symptoms and particularly for those who have a intermediate leap abnormal treadmill test in whom we, we need to evaluate things further. Thank you.